So I'm Dr. Sharita Golden. I'm a professor in the School of Medicine at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. And I'm also the Vice President and Chief Diversity Officer for Johns Hopkins Medicine. So we have vaccinated millions of Americans and that's encouraging to me because um, you know, we if we think about like the side effect profile or anything serious, you know, there have been just a few rare events out of the millions who have been vaccinated. So, um, so I think that's encouraging news that should, um, you know, should motivate people in making their decision. Um, so they there were no shortcuts taken. So the usual process that we go through were just as rigorous and comprehensive as they are for other vaccines and treatments that get approved. So um, it was happened quickly because we are in a pandemic where people are dying quickly, um, but there were no corners cut. In most states, there is no charge for the vaccine itself. And so um, a lot of them that are being administered through pharmacies and the grocery store and those situations, um, there's not a charge. Well, you know, I think it's important, you know, for two reasons. So interestingly, you know, if you are um, in the home providing care for an elderly patient, many of our elderly community members have now been vaccinated. But if you are not vaccinated, they could still have an asymptomatic infection that they pass on to you as a healthcare worker. And then you could pass that to your family or other you know, other community members. And then even though, you know, in many of our states, things are opening up, um, you know, in terms of restaurants and other things, um, you know, if you are a healthcare worker and you are not vaccinated and you go into a social setting where people are not appropriately distancing, not appropriately masking, you can still pick up COVID-19. What is still happening that's not being talked about as much is there are still about 50,000 Americans getting infected with COVID every day. And people are still dying from COVID. And now the sicker populations are the young adults and middle-aged adults who, you know, sort of are, we're sort of the last group in the vaccine category. And so that is our working population. So those would be some of our employees who would be doing that in-home care. And so there is a very high risk um, still to contracting COVID and some of the current variants are more contagious. So I think those are really important things to recognize is that um, it's protecting yourself, not just for your patients, but for your own family and the surrounding community as well.